Laura, I wanted to give a quick rundown of your um, project just in terms of the strategy. So it involves the use of the vector called PGhost4. And what it has is, first of all, a multiple cloning site. It's got a bunch of restriction enzyme sites in it. Erythromycin resistance that we use for selecting the plasmid. But in terms of the long-term goal, the important thing is this ORETS, origin of transfer that is temperature sensitive. And this is a broad host range origin, which means that it can be used in E. coli, which is what we'll do most of the recombinant DNA techniques in. But then it can be introduced into other organisms, including potentially C. difficile, where it will also replicate. And the temperature sensitive part we'll get to eventually, but for now the most important thing is the broad host range that it has. So uh, Joe and Scott and I have been talking about restriction sites and cloning strategies. I don't know if, if we talked about that specifically. But I'm thinking that what uh, you'll do is use this Hindi 3 site on PIGOS 4. And the way to use it is uh, shown over here. So that piece of DNA that you want to clone contains this GFP, which is going to serve as a reporter gene for the expression of this region right here, which is a promoter from C. difficile that we want to characterize. So what we want to do is introduce that piece of DNA into PGOS4 and then introduce that clone into C. difficile ultimately. And the strategy, at least for the time being, I think is probably going to be, this is probably going to be the easiest, would be to do PCR from PUA321 from primers that bind up here and here. This primer is called TP002 and this one is called up pro r And what will happen if the, that PCR works is you end up with a linear piece of DNA that has everything in between those primer sites on it. So that's going to be the reporter gene, GFP. The region of C. difficile that we want to characterize in terms of promoter activity. And uh, restriction sites that are interior to those primer sites. So over here, that would be Hindi 3, for example. And over here, SPH1, which I think Joe and Scott are going to use. But there's also another Hindi 3 site here that you can use. And the reason you don't want to use SPH1 is, as far as I can tell, unless it's not listed here, there ain't one over here. But it's not a big deal. We could still use this PCR product, cut it with Hindi 3, and what that would do is generate a fragment that has sticky ends for those Hindi 3 sites uh, on it. And that should be fairly simple to clone into that Hindi 3 site right there. And that would produce the recombinant plasmid that has the origin of trans, uh, uh, the timber sensitive origin plus the reporter gene construct that we want.